Oh, I'll go back to Nightly Nonsense, where we make some sense out of the nonsense around you. We're on this whole God sense kind of topic, title, right? And, and we just finished last night by saying, hey, like, well, you got to declare your nonsense, right? I want to talk to you tonight for just a couple minutes about when you declare your nonsense and God makes starts to make sense out of things, other people are going to declare your sense nonsense. You, you, you got to understand that and be ready for it, right? And when you start declaring things nonsense that have made sense to you before, right, or other people think make sense to you before, they're not going to go, oh, yay. They're going to declare your sense nonsense. You've lost it. There's a reason why Christianity comes with a cost, right? Because the worldly sense and God's sense are at battle. They're, they're at war all the time. Nobody's going to declare that when you become a Christian, when you start to follow after God, since nobody's going to say, oh, yeah, that's great, if they're walking in their own nightly nonsense. You see, people who are in nightly nonsense love to have other people in nonsense with them. It's, it's why you, you, you go to the bar, few people go to bars by themselves. I'm not saying bars are bad places and all these things, right? So few people go there by themselves. Few people go to church by themselves. Few people go anywhere by themselves. Right? We love having people with us. It's why the second that we get fired, we go find people who think like us, that we are mistreated. The second we get to get a new job, we want to go celebrate with people who say, yeah, you got the great new job. There are people who are celebrating new jobs tonight. God's saying, that makes no sense to me. So again, if you're looking at somebody, you go through an entire interview process and they're ready to hire you. They offer you the job. You say, I got to pray about it. You go pray about it. You say, yeah, I can't take that job. Do you think that makes sense to them? You went through the whole process and now you're saying no. Now they're going to say it makes no sense to them, right? There are lots of times when you're going to allow God to make sense out of your nonsense and people are going to look and say, that doesn't make any sense. Why did you just give your money away? Why did you give your car away? Why are you letting people come and stay with you? Why did you do this? Why did you move your kids to a Christian school? Why are you homeschooling your kids? Why did your wife quit her job so she can take her kids? Why did your husband quit his job so he can take care of the kids? Why did you move out of the country? Why did you move to a different state? None of this makes any sense. Why in the world are you going to Africa? There are a lot of times where the reason we don't want to make sense out of our nonsense is because we know what it's going to cost us. Listen, if you have an every Wednesday night, right, beer and cards night, where people are getting drunk, right, getting away from, they're just using it to escape from all their stuff, and you suddenly go, I, I don't need that to get rid of my stuff anymore. I don't need that to get away, right? And he's, oh, I, so I'm not going to come to it. You don't think that that's going to become nonsense to a bunch of people if you've been doing that year after year after year after year. If you go to a church and... And God says, I need you to go to another church. Use your gifts and talents here. You think that's going to make sense to a bunch of people? No, they're going to think that you're full of nonsense. God would never call you away from that church. You need to be prepared when your God sense suddenly doesn't make sense to anybody else. They're going to call you radical. They're going to call you off your rocker. They're going to call you a cultist. They're going to call you an extremist. They're going to call you sinful. They're going to call you an... Whatever it is, they're, they're, they're going to call you. All of these people that life made sense with five minutes ago, now suddenly doesn't make sense. So, chew on this. What? What? What are you going to do when the cost is that people who thought you made sense now no longer think you make sense when you start following God's sense? See you next time. Nightly Nonsense.